Major sponsors for Ableton On Air include Green Mountain Support Services, empowering people with disabilities to live home in the community, Washington County Mental Health, where hope and support come together. Media sponsors for Ableton On Air include Parkchester Times, Muslim Community Report, www.thisisthebronx.info, Associated Press Media Editors, New York Parrot Online Newspaper, U.S. Press Corps Domestic and International, Anchor FM, and Spotify. Partners for Ableton On Air include Yihad of New York and New England, where everyone belongs, the Orthodox Union, the Division for the Blind and Visually Impaired of Vermont, the Vermont Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired, Central Vermont Habitat for Humanity, and Montpelier Sustainable Coalition, Montefiore Medical Center of the Bronx, Rose F. Kennedy Center of Bronx, New York, Albert Einstein College of Medicine of the Bronx. Able Then On Air has been seen in the following publications. Parchester Times, www.thisisthebronx.com, New York Pirate Online Newspaper, Muslim Community Report, www.h.com, and the Montpelier Bridge. Ableton On Air is part of the following organizations. The National Academy of Television, Arts, and Sciences, Boston, New England chapter, and the Society of Professional Journalists. Welcome to this edition of Ableton On Air, the one and only program that focuses on the needs, concerns, and achievements of the differently able I'm your host, Lauren Seiler. Arlene's not here today. Um, on this uh, program today, this is uh, a program for Black History Month. We are preempting our normal uh, interview um, to discuss uh, Black History Month, and we are profiling uh, the movie and the women involved with the movie, the original women uh, involved uh, in the uh, movie about uh, uh, called Hidden Figures, which is a 2016 uh, movie about uh, women that work for NASA. Um, but before that, we would like to say um, uh, special thanks to our um, our uh, sponsors uh, from Washington County Mental Health, Green Mountain Support Services, and many others, including the. Um, including the partnership with the Association for the Blind of Vermont, the Division for the Blind of Vermont, and many, many others, including also uh, Montefiore Hospital of the Bronx, Kennedy Center of the Bronx, and uh, Montefiore Medical Center. Um, so let's get started. Uh, Hidden Figures was or is a 2016 American biographical drama directed by Theodore Melfi, written by Melfi and Alison Schroeder. It is loosely based on the 2016 nonfiction book of the same name by Margot Lee Shetterly about African-American female mathem uh, math mathematicians who worked at the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, NASA, during the space race. The film stars Tyreek P. Henderson as Katherine Johnson, Octavia Spencer, and Dorothy Vaughn, uh, as well as uh, and Janet, Janet Ma, uh, uh, Monet and Mary Jackson, uh, Kevin Costner and Kristen Dunst, uh, as well as Jim Parsons, uh, and many other uh, stars are featured in supporting roles. Principal, principal photography began on March uh, 2016 in Atlanta, Georgia, and wrapped up in May 2016. Other film locations included other locations in Georgia and East Point, uh, Columbus, Ohio, um, and other places. Hidden Figures 
had a limited uh, release uh, on December 25th, 2016. So um, let's talk about um, the real um, people of the movie, um, which is um, what, which is why we are uh, talking about uh, Black History Month. Um, so let's talk about Katherine uh, Johnson. Let's <clears throat> Katherine Johnson uh, was born on August 26, 2018, and um, died February 24, 2020. She was an American mathematician uh, whose calculations of orbital mathematics as a NASA employee were critical to the success of the uh, first and subsequent U.S. crewed space flights. During her 33 uh, years of NASA and its uh, predecessor, she has earned a reputation for mastering complex comp uh, calculations and helped pioneer the use of computers uh, to perform to perform the task of um, the space agency noted uh, as NASA historical role as one of the first African American women to work as a NASA scientist. Johnson's work included calculation, calculating uh, trajectories, and by the way, we are showing a picture of Katherine Johnson. Uh, she uh, talked about, uh, her, she, her work included uh, calculating trajectories, launch windows, and emergency return paths for Project Mercury space flights, which included for those astronauts, Alan Shepard as the first American in space, and John Glenn, the first American in orbit, and rendezvous paths for um, Apollo lunar module and the command module and flights to the moon. Her calculations were also um, essential to the beginning of the space shuttle program. And she worked um, on, on plans uh, for a mission in Mars. She was known as the human computer um, for her tremendous mathematical ability and the ability to work on space territories. In 2015, President Barack Obama awarded the, her the Presidential Medal of Freedom. In 2016, she was presented with the Silver Snoopy Award by NASA astronaut Leland Melvin and a NASA Group Achievement Award. She was also put, she was portrayed by Tyreek Henderson as the lead character in Hidden Figures. 2019, Johnson was awarded the Congressional Gold Medal <clears throat> and you, from the United States Congress. Um, in early life, Katherine Johnson was born uh, Creola Katherine Coleman um, on August 26, 1918, um, in White Springs, West Virginia. Um, and the um, her family had taken her um, to a, an an all um, African American school so she can learn mathematics. Um, uh, now, Johnson showed strong mathematical abilities at an early age. Um, the school district did not offer schooling for African American students past eighth grade. The Coleman's arranged for their children to attend high school at the Institute of West Virginia. The school was on the campus of West Virginia State College. Johnson was enrolled uh, when she was 10 years old. The family split between the institute and um, the school year in White, in White Sulphur Springs that summer. Um, after graduating high school at age 14, Johnson enrolled in West Virginia State, a historically black college, as a student. She took every math course offered by the college. Multiple professors mentored her, and including uh, the chemist 
and mathematician Andrew Turner King, which had mentioned Coleman through high school, and W.W. W. Slave, uh, Slavin Claytor, a third African American to receive the PhD in mathematics. Claytor added um, new mathematics courses just for Johnson. She graduated summa cum laude in 1937 with degrees in mathematics and French at age 18. Johnson was a member of Alpha Kappa Alpha. Uh, she took a job at a black public school in, uh, in Marion. Um, Johnson decided in a career in research mathematician um, at a family gathering in 1952 a relative mentioned the National Advisory Committee for Aeronautics um, was hiring mathematicians, um, and then she started working for NASA uh, in the 1960s. At first, Johnson worked at a pool for women performing math calculations. Catherine had referred to the women in the pool as virtual computers, um, who wore, who wore skirts. From 1953 to 1958, Johnson worked as a computer analyzing uh, topics such as gust alleviations for aircraft. Um, originally assigned to the West Are Arena computer section, supervised by mathematician Dorothy Vaughn. Johnson was reassigned to the Guidance Control Division at Langley's Flight Research Division. It was also st staffed by white male engineers. In keeping with state racial segregation laws and federal workplace segregation introduced under President Woodrow Wilson in early years of the 20th century, Johnson and other African-American women in the commuting pool were required to work, eat, and use restrooms that were um, separate from those um, because everybody was doing research. You have a mission, you have to work on it. It was important to do your job and play bridge, and sometimes they play bridge at lunch. Um, the, the secretarial pool disbanded the color computing pool in 1958 which the, eight, the agency was superseded by NASA and adopted digital computers, although the installations was desegregated. Um, since we're on that topic, um, um, of hidden figures, let's, um, let me see, let's go to The clip of hidden figures. So, um, so let's uh, talk about the clip. Um, so the scene here, Ke Kevin Costner in Hidden Figures 2016, um, took down uh, the uh, colors only um, sign uh, because of segregation. So let is, let's take a look at um, this clip from Hidden Figures in 2016. I need you to be. It's not my imagination. Now, where the hell do you go every day? To the bathroom, sir. To the bathroom to the damn bathroom for 40 minutes a day? What are you doing there? We're T-minus zero here. I put a lot of faith in you. There's no bathroom for me here. What do you mean there's no bathroom for you there here? There is no bathroom. There are no colored bathrooms in this building or any building outside the West Campus, which is half a mile away. Did you know that? I have to walk to Timbuktu just to relieve myself. 
And I can't use one of the handy bikes. Picture that, Mr. Harrison. My uniform. Skirt below my knees, my heels, and a simple string of pearls. Well, I don't own pearls. Lord knows you don't pay colors enough to afford pearls. And I work like a dog, day and night, living off a of coffee from a pot none of you want to touch! Excuse me, if I have to go to the restroom a few times a day. No more colored restrooms. No more white restrooms. Just plain old toilets. Go wherever you damn well please. Preferably closer to your desk. Okay. Um now, uh, her bi according to the biography of Katherine Johnson, uh, she was handpicked to be one of the, uh, Katherine Johnson's biography, she was handpicked to be one of the black students uh, to the um, intricate uh, West Virginia's graduate schools is something many people would consider um, one of their life's notable moments. Now, uh, just to let our viewers know, uh, the reason why we chose this topic is that uh, sometimes um, color, especially back in the 1960s, color could have been some type of disability, but um, uh, you know, people, people like Martin Luther King uh, fought um, to make this, uh, um, or make a point to desegregate everything because it's extremely important uh, to not let color or any disability or special needs stand in somebody's way of getting a job. Um, now, uh, she, <clears throat> she was hired, uh, she retired from NASA in 1986, um, um, and uh, she died in 2020 at the age of 101. Um, now, um, Catherine Johnson here, oh, she was a NASA trailblazer, um, she was a mathematician, a trailblazer, uh, and a quest, uh, in the quest for racial equality, she was a contributor to our nation's first triumphs of human space flight and a champion of STEM education. Catherine G. Johnson stands as NASA's most inspirational figures. Again, she was born on August 26, 1918, uh, in West Virginia, and um, uh, uh, um, now in 1953, uh, in what today is known as NASA's Langley Research Center, uh, in Hampton, Virginia, but then was called the Langley Memorial Astronautical Library. 
She retired from the center in 1986. Uh, uh, and she retired, um, you know, um, so we're going to be showing pictures of her um, and what she stood for. Um, now, um, she, uh, the over, now there are plenty, according to the website, www.nasa.gov forward slash Langley Catherine Johnson. Uh, you can also find out more about um, the women of, of NASA in terms of hidden figures. Um, so let's go to Dorothy Vaughn. Okay, uh, Dorothy Vaughn also worked for NASA, so let's go quickly to her. Dorothy Vaughn uh, was uh, born um, September 20th, 1910 in, in Montana, and uh, <clears throat> she retired from NASA in 1971. In an era where NASA and the African-American uh, man administrator Charles Bolden and a woman um, deputy administrator, De Dava Newman, and, um, you know, helped her get a, a job. Dorothy Vaughn be um, came to the Langley Memorial Aer Aeronautical Lab Laboratory in 1943 during the height of World War II, leaving her position as a math teacher um, in in uh, Virginia, and, and she also skyrocketed uh, to, Na to NASA. Um, Dorothy Vaughn retired from NASA in 1971. She sought but never received another management position at Langley. Her legacy lives on as a successful career and notable West Computing alumni, including Mary Jackson, Katherine Johnson, and Eunice Smith. Um, as well as Catherine Pedro, and the achievements of the second generation mathematicians and engineers such as Dr. Christine Darden. Um, so um, you can, again, you can find out about these ladies for hidden figures, uh, Dorothy Vaughn and the other ladies, including Catherine Johnson, at www.nasa. Dot gov um, for this content you can go forward slash Dorothy Vaughn biography um, and then you can also yeah you can find out um, more about the um, modern figures video series about these ladies um, uh, uh, about these ladies in Black history um, and about the real Katherine Johnson. Um, Again, uh, this is a real important topic about black history and the importance uh, that uh, no one should have color um, as a disability or use um, color as a disability when it comes to segregation and you know people with special needs or anybody that is trying to find employment. Um, I'm a journalist, and you know, uh, growing up, it was hard for me, um, partly to find employment. But um, there were people that mentored me to find that employment, and no one should be scared um, to find employment. Um, so that's why we do these historical shows to make sure that um, everybody understands that it's extremely important um, to stand your ground and. Um, make sure that um, everybody uh, can advocate for their own employment or other services that they need. Again, the website for NASA is www.nasa.gov um, forward slash modern figures. And, um, you know, we, uh, you can also look up the movie Hidden Figures um, about the real Katherine Johnson and uh, the other ladies involved. Um, Thank you uh, to our sponsors, Washington County Mental Health, 
Green Mountain Support Services and many others, including um, the Association for the Blind of Vermont, the Division for the Blind in Vermont, and many others, including Montefiore Hospital of the Bronx, Kennedy Center of the Bronx, and um, Einstein um, Hospital of um, Medicine, and other um, other sponsors and partners of Able and uh for this um, show today uh, of Black History Month, and we talked about hidden figures. Um, again, Arlene is not here today. Um, I'm Lauren Seiler. See you next time on the next edition of Able Den On Air. Remember, never be afraid to stand up for what you believe in, especially when it comes to segregation. I'm Lauren Seiler. See you next time on Able Den On Air. Major sponsors for Ableton On Air include Green Mountain Support Services, empowering people with disabilities to live home in the community, Washington County Mental Health, where hope and support come together. Media sponsors for Ableton On Air include Parkchester Times, Muslim Community Report, www.thisisthebronx.info, Associated Press, media editors, New York Parrot online newspaper, U.S. Press Corps, domestic and international, Anchor FM, and Spotify. Partners for Ableton On Air include Yihad of New York and New England, where everyone belongs, the Orthodox Union, the Division for the Blind and Visually Impaired of Vermont, the Vermont Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired, Central Vermont Habitat for Humanity, and Montpelier Sustainable Coalition, Montefiore Medical Center of the Bronx, Rose F. Kennedy Center of Bronx, New York, Albert Einstein College of Medicine of the Bronx. Able Den On Air has been seen in the following publications, Parchester Times, www.thisisthebronx.com, New York Pirate Online Newspaper, Muslim Community Report, www.h.com, and the Montpelier Bridge. Ableton On Air is part of the following organizations. The National Academy of Television Arts and Sciences, Boston, New England Chapter, and the Society of Professional Journalists.